Secret number one of establishment. It is waiting patiently on the Lord. God has the final say. Mungu ana usemi wa mwisho. It doesn't matter how it looks. Haijarishi vile iko. You must always know and recognize. Inabidi utambue na ufahamu. God is the possessor of the final say. Mungu ndiye mmiliki wa semi ya mwisho. Your life will not go according to what people say. Maisha yako haitaenda kulingana na vile watu husema. Your business will not go the way people your ministry will not go the way people want God has the final say and every believer must understand your life is in the hands of God I said your life is in the hands of God your future is in the hands of God your career is in the hands of God God has the final say David said I wait and be patient unto the Lord those who wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength they shall renew their strength you will not be wasted as long as you wait upon the Lord you will not be ashamed in this land as long as you wait upon the Lord you will not be a nobody in this land as long as you wait upon the Lord he said I wait and be patient to the Lord I wait and be patient unto the Lord he waited he refused to give up he refused to give up he refused to hear what people are saying and he waited patiently unto the Lord I want you to understand when he says in verse 2 be the Lord he set my feet upon a rock and he established my goings when he was waiting he was unstable when he was waiting he was unsettled when he was waiting he had needs and issues he had pending things in his life but he continued waiting the Lord remembered him the Lord had him he lifted him from the slimy pain I see the Lord lifting you in November you are lifted I said in November you are lifted the Lord lifted the servant David and when he lifted him he put a new song into his mouth and a firm place for him to foot his to put his feet and then he established his going waiting upon the Lord waiting patiently upon the Lord and knowing that the Lord has the final say God is about to speak I said God is about to speak he will speak about your career he will speak about your business he is about to speak about your future he is about to decorate your life with every good thing in the name of Jesus. Yes, your right hand and say, My Father, my Maker. My Father, my Maker. I shall wait upon you. I shall wait upon you. You have the final say. You have the final say of my life. Of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout, Amen. Amen. Number two secret of establishment. Believe or faith in God. Imani kwa bwana believing in God having faith in the Lord kuwa na imani na Mungu second chronicles 20 ma mambo ya nyakati wa pili sura ya 20 verse number 20b mstari wa 20 sehemu ya ba 
And they arose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood up and said, Hear, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so you shall be established. Believe his prophets. And you shall prosper. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Have faith in the Lord. And you shall be established. This is refusing to let your faith shake. Knowing that even though I'm not established now, my faith in God must remain unshaken. Your faith in the Lord, whether there is money or no money, whether doors have opened or doors have closed, whether things are happening or things are not happening, whether people are calling you or people are not answering your call, whether people are dealing with you shrewdly or clumsily you must always remain standing fast you must have faith in God whether it rains or it doesn't whether things are not good or bad you must remain unbendable and shakeable you must always be persuaded that I know whom I believe and I am persuaded whatever I have committed in him he shall bring it to pass this means where God cannot take me let me never get there what he can't give to me let me remain without then though he cannot open let it remain shut for Forever. You remain unbendable, unshakable, persuaded and resolute, waiting upon the Lord. This is what is called believing in the Lord that you shall be established. I want to assure you, God has no unfinished business. Even in the entire Bible, every body that waited upon him. God delivered the expectation. He will not disappoint you. I said he will not disappoint you. God is too faithful to fail. There is what an end. And the expectations of the last shall not be cut off. So if you are right hand and say, My father, I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I have confidence in you. I have confidence in you. Any time, any time, any place. I believe in you. I believe you will establish you will establish in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout some believers, amen. Amen.